A few weeks ago, I uploaded a video where I was questioning whether it was worth getting a budget headphone tube amp, tested three devices out, and at the end of it, I think I came to the conclusion that as far as these three went, it wasn't really worth getting them. However, that video got a surprising number of views and a lot of comments and discussion underneath it, where people posed questions as to whether or not these valves or tubes could run on the power supplies that were attached to them, whether or not they added anything or it was just for show. Some quite intelligent discussion took place. But then, of course, with this being YouTube, we've got the rest of the comments. So let's break down some of those, as well as take the things apart later on in the video to see what's inside them. The first issue was my pronunciation of tubes. I'm sorry, I must say it the wrong way. Am I supposed to say tubes? If so, I'll say tubes for the rest of this video and really annoy people. But then again, a lot of people are not happy when I say tubes anyway, because apparently this is England, not the World Wide Web. No, this is England and we have to protect our own little bit of it. Well, I've got to say that my video views on this one, only 11% came from the United Kingdom. I can't break it down to England. It's not that specific. And the other 89% came from around the world. And on top of that, when I bought these, they were advertised as tube amplifiers, not valve amps. And therefore, that's why the video calls them tube. Can I stop saying it that way? It's really annoying. I'm just going to say it my normal way from now on. Tubes. And whilst we're on the subject of tubes, there's one thing that I did which was a disaster. Apparently, I touched the tubes. Never touch tubes. What the hell was I thinking? I don't know. I just touched them. I didn't realise it was going to be such a big deal. If only somewhere in that video, I'd have cleaned those tubes off. For example, this section. Obviously, with all these tubes, I'm cleaning them off after I put them in to get rid of the greasy fingerprints. But then apparently that was a waste of time because this chap says I might as well touch the tubes. They're not like light bulbs where greasy fingerprints are going to affect them. I just don't know what to do. Maybe I'll sort of slightly touch them in future. A good proportion of the comments on the video have decided that the tubes do nothing. They're just there for decoration. And we'll try and find out whether that's true later on in the video. And then, of course, there's people that don't understand what a valve or a tube is and what's the whole point of this whole thing. So it shows you that the YouTube videos that I put out there have to appeal to a really broad range of knowledge and experience. In fact, just have a list to this section from the previous video. However, it does have its own slight issue, and it's this ringing sound. Now, that's the way I describe things. I try and talk about them in plain English, but apparently I was supposed to say that the ringing sound is microphonic. I had I would say over 30 people write to me to tell me ringing tubes are microphonic. Now, I don't like to get too hung up on words or terminology. I like things to be more accessible. In fact, when I made the video, I did a whole section about why you might need to have a headphone amp. However, quite a few people seem to miss this section, which is a bit strange. So let's just repeat it here and have a look. I think you might want to know perhaps why you'd want a headphone amp in the first place. You're better off looking at, say, Wikipedia, where it explains it in a lot more detail than I could go into. And of course, there's dedicated forums and things as well. But in a nutshell, you might have an amp that doesn't have a headphone output on it. Or perhaps you want to just plug your headphones into a device that doesn't have a headphone out, like a CD or a DVD player. And to do that, you could just put the phono outs in the back and plug those into the headphone amp. Also, you might find that your portable music device just isn't loud enough for your headphones and of course an amp will sort that out. And then finally, you might be buying a headphone amp with the hope that it will improve upon the headphone out that's already on your existing amplifier. Now, I thought that was pretty clear, but apparently not clear enough because quite a few people got in touch to say I should have mentioned that it's for headphones that have a high impedance and therefore you need an amplifier and able to produce enough sound through them. Well, I didn't use the word impedance. However, I did mention this and let's just have another listen to that section. You might find that your portable music device just isn't loud enough for your headphones. Okay, so again, I'm guilty of using plain English rather than buzzwords. Apparently very important hi-fi words, I'd underline that if I could, are impedance, microphonics, and valves. Definitely not tubes though, not in England. And this all reminded me of an old sketch from Not The Nine O'Clock News called The Hi-Fi Shop, where Mel Smith's trying to buy a, a gramophone and Rowan Atkinson. Well, I won't spoil it. I suggest you have a look at it. I'm gonna have a link in the video description and on screen now. But despite this being over 30 years old, the attitudes that are in the video still seem very current to me. 
Now I hope it comes across in the videos that I make that I really do enjoy doing this. I love playing with gadgets and technology and hi-fi, old and new. I enjoy making the videos, showing them to you, reading the feedback and commenting on things. It's basically what I'm here for. But it seems like a lot of other people that are really into hi-fi, it seems to make them very, very angry, very mad. I'll put a video up and they'll fuming, they'll be typing into the keyboard with their fists. Honestly, if I had a hobby that made me that angry I'd stop doing it because I'm only doing this because I enjoy it and I suggest you try and find something that you enjoy as well there's a lot of people that didn't like the fact that I demonstrated a Pono in the video I just used it to play back some music on for example and the reason I was using it is because it has a headphone out it has a line out so I could compare the two and it's capable of playing lossless music so I thought that was a suitable thing to use for this demonstration but apparently drove some people potty the confusing comments are the ones that I don't quite understand. Tube amps in general are useless. The only people who buy them are audiophiles who don't understand how the human body isn't capable if hearing the sounds they need. Yep, sorry, lost me at the end there. The blue LEDs are a waste of time and money. I, well, I don't think they really cost an awful lot, and I can't imagine the time that I wasted with a blue LED lighting up. I don't think I wasted any time at all, to be honest. Um, hey, it's really outstanding piquant scene what's your opinion about that guys now is this some kind of meme because there's a couple like this and i just don't understand what's going on let's uh, flip over to the other one hey a wicked copy shallow what's your opinion about that guys one exclamation mark what's going on i seem to be missing out on something here you should take some vit b complex supplement though your fingers look bad yeah, people are obsessed with my fingers. Don't worry about my fingers. It's all about getting old and being a crusty old man. It'll happen to you all if you're lucky one day. Now, do the tubes valves do anything? This is the comment that everyone wants to know. Do these tubes do anything? In fact, the main thing that people want me to do is take them apart. In fact, Mike says, would love to see the inside of these teardowns, please. So that's what we're going to try and do now. But before I tear them down, I'm going to see if I can figure out whether these valves are working first. I do have a hybrid valve amp. Here it is. It's in the brand name of Mistral, but a few people do this. It's one of these Chinese things that gets rebranded. But this does actually use the valves or... Uh, should I say, uh, tubes. They're at the front there, and of course that's like a preamp, and then there's a power amp at the back inside that block there, and it outputs a few watts. It sounds really nice, this, but the reason I know that it's actually using the tubes, valves, is of course it's mains powered 240 volts, so there's enough power in there to use them, and when you switch it on, it does have a delay. I'm going to demonstrate that using a Sony Walkman. Hopefully this won't upset the hi-fi purists that went mental about the Pono being on display. Now the reason I'm using this, we can see the reels going around which look very nice and of course I've also got the VU meter there so we can see where the music's coming through it so we better see when the music's happening so let's see how long it takes for the music to actually go through the hi-fi when I put it through the line out here. Just have a listen to the delay after I switch this thing on. So as you can see and hear, when valves or tubes are in use, they do take quite a bit of time to warm up that first time you switch them on. However, if you've had them switched on a while and then switch them off, the next time you switch them on, they will start up a lot quicker. By the way, this music is from the YouTube audio library, just in case you really wanted to download some. <laughs> you notice the hiss that appears when the device is first switched on and then fades away gradually. Let's just have a listen for that now. Right, so now we know how a hybrid valve or tube amp works and what it sounds like. Let's wire the Walkman up to one of these headphone amps, wire that up to a speaker, and hopefully we'll be able to hear the same hiss and click and all that kind of stuff. So let's have a go and see what happens. Well, there was definitely a delay before the music came through, which is what a valve would do. Let's switch it off again and have another listen. Well, 
Well, just like a real hybrid valve amp, it came on quicker the second time round. Now, I'm taking the tube out of the amp because a lot of people wanted to know if it would work without it in place. So let's find out. So as you'd expect, or at least as I'd expect, with no valve or tube in there, there's no sound coming out of it. Now, a conspiracy theorist might think that perhaps there's a circuit in there to detect where the tube's there, which switches the device off. We'll try and have a look at that later on. Let's try out the gold amp to see what happens when we do the same test with that one. Yeah, sorry about the breathing there. It's something that I do from time to time. I've been trying to stop, but it just seems to keep happening. Anyway, without the valves in place or tubes, this one doesn't work either. And with one tube or valve in place, it will work, presumably in mono, but this speaker won't demonstrate that to me. So let's have a look at the models of those tubes. This one is a 6J9, that's off the device with two of them, and the device with just one has a 6N11. Does that mean anything to you? Doesn't mean anything to me, but perhaps to Mike it does, and I need your help with this as well, because I'm gonna take these things apart, show you the circuit boards, but I haven't got a clue what to look for here, which is why I didn't bother doing this before, because I can't really talk about it so this is down to the viewers to figure out for yourself whether you think these tubes are in use or are completely non-functional i can see looking at it i'm no expert as i mentioned uh, it doesn't seem like all the pins are tracking to anywhere maybe that's an indicator uh, you'll have to tell me put something in the comments on this one if you're some kind of guy that knows all about circuitry which is a lot more than i do then maybe you can see on here what is and isn't connected up and whether or not this is a solid state amp that just lights up a tube and puts a horrible blue LED under it or it's just a device that does use a tube as a preamp and then uh, the um, other stuff as a, a post amp. I don't know what I'm talking about now. Anyway, here's the other one. Let's have a look at this one as well. Here's the base of that. You see again, we've got the tracks coming in. There only seem to be, what, a couple of those? Is it three out of all those pins doing anything? And maybe that's just attaching to the heater, as people have been commenting on. But I say, don't expect me to give you the answer to this. This is a question more than an answer, which is something I don't tend to do in the videos. Now, let's, of course, have a look at the, the third one, the Little Bear. Uh, we'll take this one apart. Of course, the Little Bear gives the same kind of results almost as the other two. There's the battery, if you wanted to know what it runs on. You can see that there. Harder to show the inside of this, things are a bit crammed in. This is the one that didn't work very well for me at all. Ironically though, it seems to have all the connectors wired up on the tube there. Um, the circuit looks a bit messy, doesn't it? It must be because they've got that blue coating on it, it kind of makes it go all weird. I'll zoom in on these capacitors, that's about as far as my uh, knowledge of electronics goes. So there's one and there's the other one. Hopefully you'll better figure out if that provides enough voltage to run the particular uh, tube in this one and i bent it out so we can see what the model number is and it's a jrp6021 so there you go that's uh, probably of use to somebody so we've reached the end of this rather unusual video and after all that i still don't know whether or not these tubes are performing a function on these circuit boards so if you're an electronics expert and you could figure it out please put the answer in the comments below. But one thing I do know, whatever your hobby, remember to enjoy yourself because it's later than you think. Anyway, that's it for the moment. As always, thanks for watching.